good day. So it's uh, June 6th, day 38 of the Marathon of Freedom. I'm in Calgary, and it's good to be back home again. Uh, and I'm presently at Providence Children's Center, where we've got the breakfast television coming out to do uh, some interview of, um, of you know, uh, the journey, of course, and uh, about an event that we're throwing tomorrow night in Calgary at a dojo. Um, we're going to have some speaking, there's going to be some uh, drumming, and of course, some calendars there, and uh, some t-shirts. And uh, we're just uh, doing our thing, so uh, uh, here's, here's first to know, so uh, yeah. Alright. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Inside doing some painting, but we're also then joined by a man who is inspiring people from coast to coast, Sunny Davis, who stopped took a time out from this journey about day thirty eight of a cross country trek. Started back on May thirtieth in Victoria. It's also the same day as the best killer walk, correct? Tell us how this all ties in, Sunny. Okay, uh, wow, uh, you know, so we're here through Calgary now, and, uh, you know, with the Marathon of Freedom itself, I just, I want to, I want to spread some awareness for muscular dystrophy, I want to, um, I want to, uh, inspire, though, you know, and uh, inspire people to sort of help break through, uh, limitations, you know, we all got those things going on, right, and, uh, for me, my challenge has always been my, my body, you know, and, uh, I've accepted that, and, uh, just to go forth with, uh, as a gift. So now you've been on the road for 38 days, and we've got uh, some pictures here that will show from dating back a couple other uh, days ago here on the number one highway, and you're leaving tomorrow going on to Strathmore. But this is your hometown, and I know you both did. Tell us the significance of making it this so far. Yeah, absolutely. This is, this is a milestone for you. It's so good to be home. Uh, and I'm leaving Victoria to here. It's like, okay, I've done BC and half of Alberta. What's next? What's been the biggest challenge so far on the road? You know, it's, uh, it's, it's meeting those limitations and challenges that arise in me and my own self. I'm through those, you know, uh, whether it's, you know, a uh, mind, too much mind, or a numbness in my hands, or brain, or, you know, it's, yeah. All those hours on the, out on the road, it don't want a lot of meditation. It's like you go through your head, hours on end. Yeah, it's definitely a rolling contemplation. Children that uh, stay here or you know attend the school, they'll come and put their hands in the wet concrete to leave their mark. It's beautiful, you know, the tiny little hands. This one here only has three or four fingers. <laughs> Remembering the future as well as remembering the past of uh, being in a school this morning in Calgary with children with disability and you today crossing Canada on your wheelchair. It's, uh, it's the roots. It's going back into your own system and going, where did I grow from? What did I come from? Being at a place like this totally reminds me, just brings it right back to growing up and spending time in the hospital so many years. Uh, and, and living that life, and I just I get it, get it from the sense that you know, the children here are so well looked after and cared for, and that you know their transition back into what may be some amazing normal life is uh, it's going to change things for them, to change for me. But to remember places like this, there's, there's grown deep, fertile training grounds uh, at places like this. So the roots. Had a lot of experience in, you know, hospital when yeah. I was young, and just being back in this energy, the little, little playgrounds and, and just the people, and I get the, you know, the care that's going on. So, thank you for what you do. Oh, I'm glad you did. Oh, oh, okay. Definitely check your blog and 